Hello, uh, this is Paul Cole with uh, uh, Supergen Product Tech Videos and today we're going to be doing our Lazy Man oil drain installation which is one of our supergenproducts.com accessories. It's intended to make your life a whole lot easier when you change your oil. It's approximately a one foot hose and a fitting that goes in place of your drain plug so that when it's time to change your oil all you need to do is to slide the spring clamp down, pull the blind plug out and drop your oil, uh, drop it into your oil pan and let it drain. When it's emptied, put the plug back in, put the hose back in place. Now we've got three models actually of our drain kit hose. We have two models for the tubular type frame generators. They come with clamps made to fit one inch or one and a quarter, uh, three quarter inch or, excuse me, come with a fit <clears throat> three quarter inch and one inch frames. You're only going to use one of the two clamps based on what you need. They also come with two different fittings. One is a 12 millimeter thread for generators larger than 224 cc and also a 10 millimeter thread. Now many people make a mistake of assuming that the size of the wrench that takes it out is the size they need to order. You're actually going to order uh, 12 millimeter for the uh, the larger generator and that's going to actually have probably a 14 millimeter drain bolt. For the 224 cc engines and smaller, it's going to take a 12 millimeter socket to remove that particular size. Now keep in mind that the size of the thread, the 12 millimeter is across the face of the, the diameter and the same on both. As you can see in this picture here, you'll see the silver one is the silver one is the 12 millimeter, much coarser thread. The 10 millimeter is a much finer thread, and quite a bit difference in size. I'm going to try and work with the camera here so you're able to see it, but you'll see there's a substantial difference. This one here, the 10 millimeter, takes a 12 millimeter wrench to remove the drain plug that's on the motor. The 12 millimeter is most likely going to be a 14 millimeter socket to remove it. So people sometimes will order the 12 millimeter and need the 10 millimeter. So it's important that you check your uh, diameters, the smaller one being the 10 millimeter thread, the larger one being the 12 millimeter thread. Okay, so let's install one on the frame type model and the easiest way to replace it is to put a prop under the wheel I'm going to use a battery that'll work good and by doing that you lean the oil away from the drain plug and on this engine here and this is very similar to the uh, bigger generators you'll find a drain plug on each side of the engine block. So we're going to remove that. And that one is going to take a 12 millimeter socket. So once we break it free, we should be able to take it out without losing any of the oil that's already in there. Short of a drip or two maybe. So anyway, out comes the drain plug, the original drain plug. And in this particular case, we are going to use the one inch clamp and we're going to screw it into the hole. Looks like I should have propped it up a little bit more. We're getting a little bit of seepage. Make sure you don't do it on the rug in the living room. Your wife will have an effect. Now, come on here. Once you 
once you get it threaded, you should be able to spin it right in place. Well, I guess if I use the right one, the 10 millimeter instead of the 12 millimeter would be good. There we go. And like I say, you can just spin it in. Once it starts threading, just turn it the rest of the way in. Okay, so I've loosened up the clamp. Might have done that first. And I'm going to slide the clamp out a little bit, and that way you should be able to rotate it right in place. There we go. That's what we should have done. Oops. What am I doing here? Maybe if I turn it the right way. Okay. There we go. That's a lot easier. Just Thread it right here until it bottoms out, and then take your, your wrench and cinch it the rest of the way. clamp because that's the size of this frame <clears throat> we're going to open up the clamp and we're going to put it on accordingly here now you'll notice how I have it so that the bolt is going to go from this way and through it And you might need to take the screwdriver to do just a little more alignment on the clamp. There we go. And there we go. Okay. 
you'll notice that's how I have the clamp. Okay, and yeah, let's see here. I think I'm going to change that around. We want it on the inside, so we're going to turn that over and we will put the bolt back through. Okay, so with that now, I'm going to take the plug off the hose. And then we're going to spin it on the bolt. There's a thread in the end of the blind plug right here that will allow it to tighten up. Once it's tight, the clamp is in place holding it. And then you want to face it toward the inside. Like so. Okay, let me get a socket on that. Place it about like you see it here, just above the wheel. Tighten your bolt up and then it'll self-tighten the clamp as well. There we go. Now we're going to put the, uh, the hose and the clamp on. You see once it's off you can drop it in your pan to drain. Okay, and then when you're through, you put it back up on that blind plug, just like so. You'll see the, the hose comes out of it and gently sweeps up. Okay, and then we tighten the clamp, and then we've got a done deal. Next time I want to change the oil in this unit, we simply slide this clamp down, pull the hose off, drop it in the pan. Now another important feature that a lot of people ask, well what about if the hose falls off while it's running? No problem. Uh, the crankcase vacuum will draw the oil in. So when you start the engine up, you will see the oil actually come out of the hose and become clear. Now another thing is that when you have got the proper oil level set, you will find that the oil will seek a certain line of that clear hose so if you mark that with a magic marker you can determine if you need to add oil at any time without ever having to take the dipstick out so that takes care of the installation on the tubular frame style now this one here is a 4000 watt generator with a 196 cc engine therefore it uses the 10 millimeter thread and it's because it's a tubular frame, it will get the clamp. Uh, it'll get a clamp shipped along with it. It's a good idea if you can uh, identify your model in your order. That helps us be sure to send you the right one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call 1-8-GENERATOR, which is 843-637-2867. And we're available 24-7 to take your call and help you with your question. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com backslash user backslash Products. Thank you very much.